Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Christy. Today's video is gonna be a keto, low carb, diabetic friendly meal prep. I like to have meats ready or a side dish, definitely a dessert, so that when we're busy, we come home, I can throw something together really quickly. If you are on a weight loss journey, if you are looking for diabetic friendly recipes, if you're just wanting to cut down on your carbs, you've came to the right place. So make sure you go ahead and follow, hit the notification bell so that when I do upload, you'll be notified. I have an Instagram, a TikTok, and a Facebook group. Make sure you come on over and check all of those out. Everything will be linked in the description box. If you're looking for support, motivation, and encouragement, then you need to head over to the Facebook group. While you're in that description box, make sure you check out all of the links and discount codes that I have for you so that I can save you some money on some of your favorite keto items. You name it, it's in that description box and it's got a discount code. March 14th through March 18th, Perfect Keto is having a sale. It's gonna be buy two, get one free, and you can mix and match products. They recently came out with their new cereals, Honey Nut and Cinnamon. They have cookies, Nola bars, collagen. They have the new Beauty and Sleep Hot Chocolate Collagen. You're gonna to have tons of different clean keto options available to you. This week, they have launched new NOLA bars. I already ordered mine, they've not came yet. When they do, I'll give you a review. They already have the coconut chocolate chip and peanut butter. This week, they launched the maple pecan and white chocolate macadamia nut. I am so excited to get mine. I'll have it linked in the description box. Click on that, it'll take you over to the site and it will apply that discount when you check out. Okay, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. If you've not made pickled onions yet, you are missing out. You're gonna be able to put whatever ingredients you want in here so you know it's gonna be clean, you know there's not gonna be anything added like hidden sugars, dextrose, and these are delicious on wraps, salads, burgers, hamburger in a bowl, avocado toast. So let me show you how simple this recipe is. All you need, red onion, salt, white vinegar, a jar with a lid, because you want these to be kept airtight in your refrigerator, and hot water. That's your base recipe. Then whatever spices and seasonings you wanna throw in, go for it. Slice up your red onion. There's really no measurements to this because it depends on what size jar that you're gonna be putting this into. You want your onion thinly sliced. Tip that I learned off of TikTok. You wanna slice off both ends. Then you wanna turn this over, slice down the middle, basically from pole to pole. Once sliced down the middle, you're gonna turn this over and you are gonna thinly slice your onion this way. This is gonna give you a crispier onion instead of a limp, slimy onion. No one wants that. Slice up enough onion strips to fill up your container. Take your thin slices and then go ahead and break those apart. We're gonna add these to our glass jar. I fill my jar pretty much all the way to the top. Remember, only two liquids, white vinegar, hot water, equal parts of each. I always just add my vinegar first, so I went halfway on my jar. Now I'm gonna add in my hot water up to the onion level. Add a pinch of salt. Now you've got endless possibilities. You can add garlic, keto-friendly sweetener, crushed red pepper flakes, jalapenos, whatever you want to your pickled onions. You're gonna be able to make this different every single time. Today I'm gonna to add in a little bit of cayenne pepper and some crushed chili flakes. Add your lid and give it a really good shake. Now into the refrigerator for at least an hour. If you can let these sit overnight, it's gonna be better. I store these in the refrigerator for about two weeks, but honestly, they never make it that long. At this point, I feel like I have made these a hundred different ways. So give me some ideas in the comments what else I should put in here or what you plan on putting into your pickled onions. We are having air fryer chicken nuggets this week, so I wanna go ahead and make up some of the Chick-fil-A sauce. We're obsessed with it. I still have this bottle in the house. Briley eats on it 
but the rest of us, since we are doing low carb and keto, need a version without sugar. And this is a super easy recipe to throw together. Only three ingredients. In a bowl, add three tablespoons of your mayo of choice. I like to use Duke's. You guys already know that because there is no sugar added into that. Then to that bowl, add two tablespoons of just regular yellow mustard. Last ingredient, add three tablespoons of sugar-free barbecue sauce. If you have one that has a smoky taste, that's best. If not, it's no problem. Now go ahead and whisk those three ingredients together. Give your sauce a little taste test. If you want it sweet, you can add up to one teaspoon of stevia but we personally just go ahead and leave that out. I like to make it up in advance so that the flavors have time to go ahead and combine before we have nugget night. This is also good for dipping the Aldi cheese fries in. You wanna add this to an airtight container with a lid and store it in your fridge. We've kept it up to two weeks without any issue, but I don't make a large quantity at once. Now, just go ahead and refrigerate and enjoy. Meal prepping some keto chows this week. I haven't shown this in quite some time. Chris loves his keto chow. It's usually his breakfast every single morning. We try to do a week's worth or so of these in advance so that all he has to do is go get them out of the refrigerator and shake them up and go ahead and drink them every morning and that way I don't have to prepare one every single day. These are better prepared in advance. One of the main reasons is we're going to prepare our keto chow warm because we're going to be using melted butter as our fat. So with that warm water and melted butter, these keto chows are going to be warm. If you leave them in the refrigerator overnight, it's going to give them time to cool down. Plus, it's going to give them time for all of these flavors to mingle together. I'm not going to go over a lot of information about keto chow. I've done an entire video on that and I'll link it up in the cards for you and down in the description box. And it just explains what keto chow is. It's basically just a keto meal replacement shake. You add your fat of choice, your liquid of choice, and everything else is in here. It's gonna be low carb. They have a ton of different flavors. They have subscription boxes. There's a discount code always linked for them also. Now when I meal prep Chris's Keto Chows, I go ahead and add the collagen in. He had stopped taking his collagen for a few days and he was complaining about his joints and I knew exactly what was going on. Guys, my doctor told us to take collagen. So I don't push any supplements on you all, but I do feel like collagen is very important for hair, skin, nails, joints, and so much more. Now in the snickerdoodle, I'm gonna add the salted caramel. We have the peanut butter for the banana, the peanut butter and banana combo, delicious. Chris also likes to add strawberry collagen to the chocolate keto chow. So tons of different combinations. If you're not wanting to add another drink or another way to take your collagen and you drink keto chow shakes, go ahead and mix those two together. It's basically taking care of everything at once. I just add everything into my Ninja cup and blend it. So I have half a stick of butter melted. Then I have 12 to 14 ounces of liquid added into that. I want warm liquid because I don't want the butter to solidify. You can use unsweetened almond milk if you want to. Today, I'm using water to help cut back on calories. Chocolate keto chow, I'm just gonna pour the entire packet in. To the top of that, I'm gonna add one scoop of strawberry collagen, chocolate covered strawberry keto chow. Now I'm just gonna blend everything until it's completely combined. Add it to the blender bottle. Since the liquid is still warm, I'm gonna leave this cracked open just a little bit so that heat can escape in a few hours. After they've been in the refrigerator, I'll go ahead and seal that up. I'm gonna go ahead and make the rest of these in combination with his collagen, and I'll be right back. Keto chows and collagens mixed together are prepped for the next five days, plus I made one for this morning. Now breakfast is done. Meal prepping some chia seed pudding because let's be honest, I eat it every single day. Now, I have shown many chia seed pudding recipes in the past. Right now, I am just doing this basic recipe. That way, I'll have it on hand, and when I go to eat it, 
I have options. Either I can spoon some out, warm it up, or I can leave it cold and add the ingredients I want. So basically all you're gonna need is coconut milk, nothing in this one except for coconut milk and water. It's six servings, so it's gonna be six carbs for the entire thing. But there are tons of coconut milks on the market. This one, 13.5 ounce can. And the chia seeds that I'm using is just the ones that I had recently picked up at Walmart. I do have some of my favorite, which are from Costco, but since I had bought these first, I wanted to use them up. Are they good? Yeah, I'll give them an eight out of a 10. But the ones at Costco in the orange bag, I believe, they're an 11 out of 10. I love them the most. Make sure you shake, add the coconut milk to a bowl, then one half cups of chia seeds. Stir immediately. Once you have that mixed up, go ahead and stir in your sweetener of choice. I always like to use a liquid sweetener in my chia seed pudding. My favorite is the Lakanto, but I'm out. I'm waiting on my Amazon delivery. But I do have the Splenda Monk Fruit Liquid and also have the Truvia. So I think I'm gonna add the Splenda today. I wanted to show you other options that are available and these are at Walmart and grocery stores. No, Splenda is not bad. I want you guys to know, I'm gonna keep repeating this until the world knows. Splenda is a name brand. They make lots of different types of sweeteners. Now, you may not be fond of the one in the little yellow box. I'm not either because it has maltodextrin and dextrose. But this one, water, monk fruit extract, citric acid. There are no measurements for this because everyone's taste buds are different, so just measure with your heart to whatever tastes best to you. If you just want a little bit of sweetener or none, that's fine. If you're like me, then you're gonna add quite a bit. Now, once you have all that mixed up, you're gonna add the lid to your bowl, add it to the refrigerator, and at least refrigerate this for about 15 minutes Try coming back and stirring it after that because you don't want all of those chia seeds to be on the bottom or to clump up. Now, just a reminder, if this consistency is too thick for you, you can add more coconut milk if you want a little bit more almond milk. Some people even add a little bit of water to their chia seed pudding. So get this to the consistency that you want. After about 30 minutes, you're ready to go. This makes multiple servings. I feel like it's been ages since we made the stuffed bagel bombs. These get gone super fast in my house. Whether you're keto or not, everybody loves them. It's such a simple recipe and you can do so many different things with the bagel bombs. So you can stuff them with cream cheese. You can add a little bit of jelly. Stuff with your favorite hamburger toppings. Possibilities are endless. I'm not going to go over the entire recipe. I just wanted you to know. We made them again this week. I'll link it in the cards for you and down in the description box. You need to make these. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below. Did you meal prep this week? I'll see you in the next one. Bye.